Hey guys, Brian here, and today I'm going to be playing Ace Combat Infinity and, in, uh, well, using, I guess I'm going to be using SC-37 John Lee, but today I'm going to be talking about why overhyping games is a pretty bad idea, <laughs> and some counter-arguments to go along with that, so, basically I thought of this because I'm, well, look that, because I'm really looking forward to Ace Combat 7, right, but, I'm kind of scared of the game being overhyped and us being let, let down by the game when it comes out. The reason I'm saying this is because an example that just came out, No Man's uh, Sky, it was overhyped to hell. Everybody thought it was going to be the best game ever, open world ex uh, ex uh, exploration and stuff. Then when the game came out, everybody was let down and now I'm seeing it's the lowest rated game of all time, with the exception of like, one, some other indie game. And, I mean, this isn't necessarily the game's fault. You could tell that the guys uh, that made No Man's Sky, they were pretty passionate about the game. But sometimes what what uh, has a part in that is fucking uh, game publishers, for example, uh, or the guys that supply the money, Sony, for No Man's Sky. And, you know, what, this co what overhyping does, it pretty much makes you stoked for a game that hasn't even come out yet and it promises features that won't be in the final build for No Man's Sky for example multiplayer interaction as soon as people found out all oh, that was bullshit every, the whole game went to trash pretty much another example that I'm going to give is uh, Battlefield 1 and how that was easily one of the biggest hype trains other than for AAA titles at least not saying that it's it's failed because no, it's still going strong. But uh, when Battlefield One was first announced after uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, everybody thought it was going to be the death of COD. That Battlefield is going to be the best. How every COD player is going to switch to fucking Battlefield. And I'm not saying it's a bad game. But it's not not by a long shot. It's a pretty beautiful game. But then everybody or a lot of people played the beta and they were let down because they were like, you know what? Why did I buy into the hype? Why did I hop into bandwagon? Wagon? And this isn't my type of game at all. What am I doing in a tank? What am I doing? Just <laughs> trying to spot people. What am I doing in World War One? Where are my red dot sites? Where and so so on, right? And why was it? Why did this happen? In part, like I was saying, the publishers slash devs making promises they can't give. But another part is a community, which also plays a part, right? At first it's the fans, and then it transitions into it being the... Everybody saying. Now, the reason I'm scared of Ace Combat 7, I may be repeating myself, but sorry, I'm... This isn't scripted at all, so I'm just... No other. Anyway, the reason I'm scared of Ace Combat 7 being a product of overhype is because of what happened with stuff like Assault Horizon now. Assault Horizon, it's regarded by many Ace Combat fans to be... The worst game ever, and I... I'm inclined to agree, worst Ace Combat ever. But what it did is it brought in a new, a new uh, generation of Ace Combat players. You could say. I personally was okay with the game. It wasn't terrible bad. I mean, if you look at it as not being an Ace Combat game, it's pretty decent. But Ace Com Assault Horizon was pretty overhyped, and then it ended up doing bad critically, at least for the fans. And not necessarily the best example, but what I'm saying is I don't want Ace Combat 7 to end up being... I don't want Ace Combat 7 to end up being... Oh yeah, it's a great game. Oh, sorry. I don't want Ace Combat 7 to end up being a... Oh yeah, we, we're we here at Sony, we pay big bucks for this game to be the best VR game ever. And then it turns out... Oh, it's actually a pretty shitty game when the developers didn't have any time to, to put money into it. I mean, they didn't have any enough time to make a good game. They just got a bunch of money, were told to rush it, and then they end up with a trash game. So, even though I'm kind of saddened that we haven't gotten any Ace Combat 7 news, I'm actually hoping that they're working on it hard. Because if it falls to the product of overhype, with everybody saying, oh, it's going to be the game to end all games, the V2 to end all V2s, then it ends up being a trash game. And I don't. I really don't want my, one of my favorite franchises to end that way. Another example of overhype. 
a Deus Ex, uh, which one was it? I want some pre-orders, <laughs> well that wasn't really overhyped, but that's just a thing. So, you know, basically I turned this uh, video, this conversation into overhyping, and I turned it into... It's not really overhyping, because that's a natural thing to do, now that I think of it, it's more of a... It has more to do with developers, I mean not developers, publishers screwing over the developers. So, a note to the de publishers, uh, EA, uh, Bandai Namco, Activision, please don't uh, ruin your game's release. If the developers, they work hard, and if they tell you that they can't do it on time or they need a bit more time, give them that time, because they, they these guys know what they're doing, you know? And so don't try to force them to do something they can't do. Don't make them make promises that they can't do, or else you're going to end up doing pretty bad. That's why sometimes indie games aren't as criticized as bad because they don't make promises they can't do. For example, Time Splitters uh, Rewind, they got permission from Crytek uh, UK to make a new Time Splitters game, fan made game. But the reason they they took it on themselves as a personal project is because that way the develop the publishers won't tell them what to do and they won't have to make promises they can't keep. So therefore you by the time Time Splitters Rewind comes out, which is taking a long time, but you gotta give them that time so that uh, when it comes out it's gonna be one of the best revitalizations ever, or a really good game. So well guys, this, that whole argument might have come out really shitty and I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I was probably speaking a bunch of nonsense, but thank you guys for watching and See you guys later. Oh, I got 30 tickets. It's fuel, fuel, fuel. Oh yeah, see you guys later. Uh, about that, my future video is going to be coming out in about a week, so don't, don't fret. Bye.